Hey, what's going on, guys? Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA. Hey, on this episode of the show, I was able to speak with Jordan Curry, King of the Cage Fighter. Check it out. Hey, thanks for uh, jumping on a call with me today, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah no problem at all. Um, so uh, I was actually at the King of the Cage fight when you just fought just like three weeks ago. Uh, great win for you, man. I, I saw you throw one punch the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some, are, uh, some go a little smoother than others, you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 45 seconds. Rocco's like the, the nicest guy I've ever met, though. He came up and was talking to me for a while. But, uh, man, that was a great, great finish for you, obviously, early night uh, for you to get the hand raise there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Rocco is a class act. I, uh, I don't, it, was, it was almost a weird mental thing before the fight, you know, because he was talking to me, and I'm going, man, I really don't want to fight this guy. He's really just so nice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <You know? totally. laughs> He was saying that was, like, his first fight back in, like, six years or something like that. Yeah, it was his first fight in a while. I uh, I don't know exactly how long, but but quite some time. Okay. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, great job. Thanks for the for uh, the entertainment on the night, dude. It was an awesome night for sure. Yeah. Um, Thanks. So will you be fighting on the King of the Cage February card too? Then. Yeah, I think I think so. Nothing's really confirmed yet. Um, I know Jared Torgerson had uh, asked me if I wanted to rematch him, and I told him I would. Um, nothing, nothing signed or anything. So I don't know if that's going to go through for sure, but I'd love that fight again. He's, he's a awesome opponent, nothing but respect and, um, just a tough kid too. So it's always a good fight. Nice. And I actually, uh, at the end of the Rocco fight, you'd called out Tony Lopez, uh, for a rematch on there. Any movement on that? Doesn't sound like it yet, but okay. if I keep saying his name, maybe something will happen. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd like the Lopez fight. Um, I'm thinking... You know, I've been been dieting, and I'm gonna probably try to move back down. But uh, you know, I, I, it doesn't matter to me if I'm walking around at 200 or 205. I'll fight Lopez again. You know, so sure. we'll see. We'll see what what ends up what ends up happening. But it doesn't sound like it's a fight he wants again, which I wouldn't if I were him either. He knows that's a he knows it's not gonna end up the same way. So sure, that's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, a teammate of yours, uh, Killian Estes, is fighting. For the King of the Cage Amateur World Championships uh, this weekend, um, you've been training with him. He's, is he just like beast mode? Uh, obviously, he's down there right now, but beast mode in the gym right now. Yeah, you know the kid's tough. Kid's really, really tough. You know, I, I see a lot of people, especially on social media, they always talk about you know his talking ability and stuff, but they don't realize, man, the kid is tough. You know, I, I've been doing this for ten years, and there's plenty of plenty of sessions where he gives me all I can handle sure. so uh, he's gonna make easy work down there I think um, they can't even find people who won't stop backing out against him you know all these guys talk about him all the time and then they, they you know they sign their contract and then what are they doing they're backing out a couple days later you know yeah. I just I don't understand it I was so bummed that his opponent had backed out of the king of cage fight just you know when you were on the card there too uh, I was yeah. very excited to see him uh, fight there so that kind of leads to my next question question how quickly do you think he's going to finish this uh fight tomorrow <laughs> i think it's going to be pretty quick yeah i think it's going to be pretty quick you know he um he, he just he comes out and he just pushes it man he yeah. comes out and he just kind of explodes on people and they don't know what to do with it yeah. and uh, i think it's going to be quick you know the fight's only it's only like a two uh two round fight two minutes so oh, gotcha. i told him he's got to he's got to get the, he has to get the the finish pretty quickly <laughs> sure yeah for absolutely it's, Absolutely, uh, and I guess he's the main event tomorrow, which is rad. I mean, that's that's a huge deal on a national circuit, yep. there, man. So, um, yep. awesome. Uh, so on my show, I like to get a little bit more on the personal side. Uh, what got you into like fighting in the first place, and ultimately deciding to step into that cage and become a pro fighter? Yeah, well, it's an interesting story with me. If you'd have seen me probably when I was fifteen or sixteen years old, as my brother-in-law who's sitting here will tell you, you'd have probably never thought that this is what I'd be doing. I was. Um, uh, what kind of got me into it is, you know, when I was real younger, I got picked on quite a bit. And um, going through high school, I, I started becoming pretty good at football, and um, I was just competitive, you know. When, and when I left high school, um, I thought, man, what can I do that's just 
you know, competitive, but not so much a team sport. I kind of wanted it just to be my own thing. Yeah. I started seeing the UFC and watching the UFC, and I thought, man, that'd be really cool if I became a fighter, you know? And then all those guys that picked on me back in the day, they could see it. And sure. So I actually got into it for the wrong reasons, per se. Gotcha. Um, then after a couple of years, I just fell in love with the, the sport and the technique, you know? Um, and now I'm, I'm in it for the right reasons, obviously, but it's weird how things start like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, braver than I. So I like to be on this side of the cage. Thank you for uh, always putting on a good show. Appreciate that. <laughs> not, 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 not braver necessarily, just different. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's things that I'm sure you could kill spiders a lot easier than I could. You see? I it's not about bravery. It's not about bravery. Yeah, for sure. I'm, a, I'm afraid of the spiders too, man. I'll, I'll go run and I'll leave that to my wife. <laughs> for sure. Hey, uh, so do some rapid fire questions with you if that's all right. Cool. Uh, favorite food? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> no, my favorite. My favorite food. Oh man, that's a tough one. Um, ribeye steak. Very nice. Uh, favorite movie? Favorite movie. I'd have to say V for Vendetta. Okay, oh, dude, that's a, that's a rad movie. Um, any? Uh, what's your favorite type of music or band? Ooh, you know, I listen to a lot of rock. Um, I'd say Led Zeppelin, um, and Led Zeppelin and really any eighties like hair band. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Striper. Nice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, and then, uh, do you have a favorite MMA fighter that you watch or follow? Um, you know, I recently I would say Justin Gaethje. Yes. Yeah. That was a great fight. Uh, that was. Was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, he's yeah, just, well, uh, you know, I didn't know a lot about him when he fought for Bellator. You know, I, I didn't know. And then I saw his fight with uh, Michael Johnson. And I went, oh, my goodness. That guy's got some part, you know. Yeah. So, like watching him. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's a stud. Um, do you have a, a winner in Whitaker or Rockhold for the middleweight title? I, I, you were cutting out there. I'm sorry. One oh. more time. Sorry, so we got uh, Whitaker versus Rockhold for the middleweight title. Who do you got? I got Luke all day. Got to yeah. represent that AKA. Come on, man. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, and then I wanted to give you an opportunity, too, to shout out to any of your sponsors. Um, I can add links to them on, on the show when I post it, but uh, we'd love to give you an opportunity to shout out to any sponsors you have, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, Trevor Pringley's AKA and, and Trevor. Um Blue Chip Chiropractic, Rich May, uh, they sponsor our whole entire gym, so that's a really awesome sponsor. Um, you know, this last one I didn't really have too many sponsors because I didn't I didn't push them, but I, I'm going to give shout outs anyways for my uh, for my Lopez fight with uh, Alien Gear Holsters, uh, Mitchell Seamless Gutters, um, and then we got Giltner Tree Care as well. Awesome man, awesome. Well, uh, thank oh, you. I, I forgot one. Uh, yeah, Austin yeah. Peterson for Senate. Austin Peterson for Senate, so okay. he's a libertarian. Not running around here, but I figured I'd give him a shout-out anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. No problem at all. Hey, um, thank you again for being on the show, man. My shows are pretty short, uh, but I really appreciate you taking time of your day to, to jump on with me. Hey, no problem at all. Anytime. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for checking out the show. Really appreciate it. Please give this video a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. Also check out TopRatedMMA.com. Thank you for the support. Have an awesome day.